Welcome back. This is another Nature's Incarnate video. In this video, we're going to be talking about incarnas. Incarnas have two states. They have an unempowered state, and they have an empowered state. The incarna always counts as what's shown on its icon. There are four NI spirits that have incarnas, and all of them have different things on the icons that represent different things. So some may count as beasts, some may count as presents, and so forth. Behemoth's Incarna, that's the one that was just recently revealed, counts as both a presence and also a sacred site. Well, once you empower it, of course. What does that mean? So, because the Incarna always counts as presence, it means it can be used for targeting purposes. So, let's just say I have Harbringers of Lightning here, and it's a one range slow. That means I can target one range from my Incarna instead of presence if I would like in this land. As you can imagine, the incarnas are supposed to represent spirits, a spirit manifestation. So this incarna is moving around the board, and now you can use that presence, this mobile presence, to get better range of abilities. Most importantly, incarnas will have certain things tied to them. So if you look at the behemoth spirit board, I know I don't have it in this video. I'll be talking about, be about behemoth in the next video. But um, Behemoth's board specifically states that its innate can only be used in the land with the Incarna. So placing that Incarna is going to be very key to utilizing that innate properly. Let's say my Incarna is in land F8, and this land is Blighting. Well, I can always choose to have my Incarna not count, count as presence at any point in the game. So, if this land is blighting, I can choose to have it not count as presence for the purpose of this blight action. Once the blight comes down, I can then have the presence or the incarnate count as presence again. This allows you to kind of dodge um, harmful blight events, but more importantly, it will um, really help with setting up the, the incarnate to do stuff in the slow. There are some events that destroy presence. Let me see if I can find one. Here we go. Overcrowded cities, it says spirits may prevent this on any or all boards by destroying two presents from each board to be protected. I can choose to destroy my Incarna to count as one of the presents destroyed from the Blighted Island effect. I would still need to destroy another presence. It's important to point out that if my Incarna is counts as a sacred site, destroying this only counts as one presence for the purpose of destroying it for the Blighted Island effect. The only way to get my Incarna back on the board after it's destroyed is via a special way based on your spirit. So for Behemoth, when every turn Behemoth is allowed to push the presence, or uh, sorry, push the Incarna, or add the Incarna back to the board at a sacred site. So that's how you'd be able to add the Incarna back to the board. So let's say I destroyed the presence or uh, the incarna for overcrowded cities. I would then have to use my special rule to add it back if I were playing Behemoth. Let's say I had two presents here on F8, and this F8 was blighting. I can either choose to have the incarna be destroyed or the presence. So if I choose the incarna to not count as presence, I would still need to destroy a presence that's in that F8 land. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, so whenever I place presence off my track, I can choose to instead move the Incarna. This is actually a rule that already exists in the game, but you never really need to do that unless your tracks are empty. What do I mean by this? So let's say I'm playing Lightning, and I grow into this mountain here. I can choose to G2, placing two presence from my track, or I can choose to just move these presence within the range restriction here. It's always better to move to, to add the presence, like I said, unless your tracks are empty, in which case you're better off just moving presence, otherwise it's a wasted growth option. With Incarnas, it's a little bit different, because now you always can gain value by choosing, let's say, G2, and not adding the full amount of presence. Um, I find, pers in my games, um, I, I call this as anti-growing, but... Um, I find for most spirits, you really don't want to do that. There are some rare instances where it is the correct play, but um, that's more of a judgment call based on each circumstance. So, 
but you will find uh, that to be somewhat useful in some cases. You may, instead of adding two presence, it may be important to just add your your Incarna, that two range in Behemoth's case, to help get into that perfect land that you need to use your innate properly. So Many Minds is one of the spirits in the game that has presence movement, and anything that moves a presence means you can also choose to move an Incarna. Many Minds, I already rate it as six, let's see, there we go, six out of, out of 68. It's the sixth best spirit in the game, I believe. And its stock is only going to go higher, and that's just because it has access to Bedevilment, this way to fast-moving Karnas. And Karna spirits are going to love to combo with Many Minds because that fast presence movement is going to be massive. In addition, oh, Shroud. This is another guy, another uh, spirit that I don't really like that much, but um, it does have some synergy with Incarnas, and that's with, I think it's this card, yes, Flowing in Silent Forms. Being able to gather presence or sacred sites from another spirit is um, very powerful, because once again, you're moving that Incarna, you're giving the Incarna spirit more activations to help set it up so that it can utilize its Incarna the best. Let's see if there's anything that I'm missing. I think that's it for this video. If this video helped you understand what Incarnas do, like, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos about Spirit Island and about Nature's Incarnate. If you have any questions about Incarnas, their mechanisms, just post it in the comments and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. I will see you guys in the next video.